Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. If you don't know, my name is Rebecca. Uh, today we are going to light the third Advent candle, um, which is joy. So I wore my joy shirt today uh, so that we would remember. Uh, we have already lit the candle of hope. That was our first candle. Um, and our hope is looking toward the author and finisher of our faith, knowing that he will give us peace, which was our second candle, that passes all understanding. And today we light the joy candle. Uh, let's see, which is pink. Uh, pink is the liturgical color for joy. So that's why that candle is a different color. Uh, today we'll quickly look at joy for this season and not happiness because they are not the same. Happiness is an emotion that can disappear just as quickly as it comes upon us. But joy is a choice. God gives us joy so great that words cannot tell about it. 1 Peter 1, 8b. It is, easily, it is easy for us to choose to live in our pain, anger, fear, or resentment. All of us have things that have happened to us, um, whatever it might be, and we can, we can, it's easy to kind of like dwell in that stuff there. Uh, but God wants us to choose joy. Uh, I think about Mary uh, when she was met by the angel. He said, you know, fear not for I bring you good news. Um, when he told her her whole life was going to change. I'm sure it was a scary time for her, but she said, I am the Lord's servant. May everything you have said about me come true. She chose to trust the Lord. And I am certain that Mary had to remind herself that she made that promise all throughout her pregnancy with Jesus, as well as all throughout his life, including going to the cross. I know we talk about her being pregnant and how she could have been stoned. Obviously she wasn't, but I'm sure there was a lot of gossip around her and about her and her situation. I'm sure she probably heard from those that she loved and trusted the most. And I'm sure that they said to her, are you sure that this is what happened? And like I said, not only before Jesus was born, but all throughout Jesus's life and even at the cross. But over and over, Mary chose God. And we too must choose God. And we must choose joy. First of all, it is a fruit of the Spirit, Galatians 5.22. It's an attribute of us being a follower of Christ. It is medicine for our souls as well as for others. Proverbs 17:22 says, a cheerful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit saps a person's strength. Romans 15, 13, uh, I pray that God, the source of hope, will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust him. Then you will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. Nehemiah 8.10 promises us that the joy of the Lord is our strength. John 16.22 promises us that no one will take away your joy. No one can take it away. You can give it away and you can choose not to dwell in it, but no one can take it away. What a great promise. Romans 14, 17, the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Psalm 16, 11 says, you will show me the way of life, granting me the joy of your presence. This week, starting today, let's choose joy. God's joy that is unspeakable and full of glory. It will be your strength. And may your joy be a light that the darkness cannot overcome so that those around you are pointed toward our loving Savior. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your joy that is unspeakable and full of glory. We thank you that it is our strength. And we pray, God, that you will help us to choose joy, your joy. In your name we pray. Amen. 